After removing the noise using the previous video, we still notice some noise flowing in. Let us see how to prevent that. If you notice, you see some of the noise actually got in here. Okay. Basically, it's bypassing the limiter because the threshold decibel here is lower than this part of the signal. Okay, so uh, let me increase the threshold a little bit. Okay, and let me play it from the beginning. Okay, so now that it's gone, but I hear this one, which is this area right i would like to remove that too how do i do that let me zoom in here let me where was that okay so that happens here let me click here and then do a right click and pull it here okay so this is the area where I hear that noise. Okay, let me remove that. Okay, click here and go to automate and choose volume. Okay, you will see the volume line. Just do a right click. Okay, let me do a right click here. And if you notice, it adds an audio point. Okay, I have also added an audio point here. Okay, let me move this audio point a little bit. Add one more audio point by doing a right click here. And then just pull this down. Just pull this down. Okay, so what this will do is it will reduce the audio of this clip around this area so basically I can automate using some kind of line which represents the level of the volume and that's called an automation here in FL studio you can automate a lot of stuff but let's start with the volume so let me click here double click here and let me play it na, 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 na. La, 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 la. See, you see, la. that's gone. In your audio clip, if you have some unwanted noise in certain area of that clip, and if you want to mute it completely, then you can use the volume automation like I just did. And now if I play it again. Na, na, na. La, 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 la. So that's gone. Thank you for watching.